Consider this problem. Find the equation of the secant line that intersects the curve y equals x squared minus 4 at x equals negative 1 and at x equals 2. How can we find the equation of a secant line? To find the equation of any line, all you need is a point with an xy coordinate and the slope of the line. Let's draw a picture of what we have. So the graph x squared is a parabola that opens in the upward direction. But what we have is x squared minus 4, so this graph has been shifted down 4 units. So here is a generic shape of the graph. Now what I'm going to do is find the x-intercepts. So if we set the function equal to 0, we can factor it using the difference of perfect squares technique. The square root of x squared is x, the square root of 4 is 2, and then one side will be positive, the other side will be negative. Now if we were to solve for each factor, we're going to get x equals 2 and x is equal to negative 2. So these are the x-intercepts. Now we're interested in finding the equation of the secant line that intersects the curve when x is negative 1 and when x is 2. So when x is negative 1, the curve is there. And when x is 2, that's the x-intercept. So the secant line is a line that touches the curve at two points, or rather it intersects the curve at two points. My drawing is terrible. Let's do this one more time. So that is the secant line that we're focused on. We need to find the equation of that line. In order to find the equation of any line, we need to get the slope. But before we can get the slope, we need to find the two points of interest on this line. So we know the coordinates for this point. We can clearly see that x is 2, y is 0. For the first one, we know the x value. We don't know the y value. But we could find it by replacing x with negative 1 in that equation. So y is going to be equal to negative 1 squared minus 4. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So we got the point negative 1 comma negative 3. So now that we have the two points on the secant line, we can use those two points to calculate the slope of the secant line. And we're going to use this familiar formula. You've seen it before. m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's call negative 1 x1, and y1 is going to be negative 3. 2 is going to be x2, 0 is going to be y2. So y2 minus y1 that's 0 minus negative 3. And then x2 minus x1, that's going to be 2 minus negative 1. 0 minus negative 3, that's the same as 0 plus 3. 2 minus negative 1 is equivalent to 2 plus 1. So the slope is 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So that's how we could find the slope of a secant line. Now the next thing is to write the equation of the line. So now that we have the slope, we can use the point-slope formula. All we need is a point and a slope. So let's use this point. We're going to replace y1 with negative 3, m is 1, and x1 we're going to replace that with negative 1. So this becomes y plus 3, and that's equal to 1 times x plus 1 which we can simply write that as x plus 1. Now the last thing that we could do at this point is subtract both sides by 3. So we're going to have y is equal to x, and then 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So we have y is equal to x minus 2. This is the equation of the secant line. This is the final answer. That's all we could do for this problem. So now you know how to find it. So that's basically it for this video. For those of you who like it, uh, don't forget to 
subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks again for watching.